Hello everybody and welcome to another vlogging adventure here on Manny Moto 1. Today on location on Singer Island, Florida. Sit back and relax and enjoy today's video. Starting our journey today just outside the Sands Hotel. Hello everybody. It's a beautiful sunny day here in South Florida. Temperature in the low 80s. We're going to do some exploring today. Ooh, it is absolutely beautiful out. Beautiful. Johnny Longboats, rum, ribs, and raw bar. Interesting. And New York Bagels Cafe and Deli. One thing New York's famous for, good bagels and good pizza. Singer Island, actually, not an island at all. It's a peninsula located on the Atlantic coast of Palm Beach County and is mostly located in the city limits of Riviera Beach, while the southern end is located in the town of Palm Beach Shores. So Singer Island is named after Paris Singer, son of Isaac Singer, the creator inventor of the Singer sewing machine. And this tiny piece of Palm Beach County is packed with parks, marinas, hiking, and bike paths. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, one of the characteristics, the attributes of Florida, by far, the beaches. Yeah, Disney World, but also the beaches. Perfect. Typical Florida shot right here. And an unmistakable blue-green Florida sky. A view of the Singer Island skyline. Currently 81 degrees, just around noon time on this November 24th, 2020. Don't litter, it makes the world better. I don't know what this building is. It's probably condominiums or apartments or something for uh, snowbirds. That's gotta be cool living all the way out there. And here's the other one. There's two buildings on the same property. They got some picnic areas here and some barbecues. You wanna have a little picnic? Uh, fancy 7-Eleven <laughs> right here. Wings. <laughs> nice. Paris Singer's original plan was to develop a resort community called Palm Beach Ocean alongside American resort developer Addison Minza. With two luxury hotels, one known as the Paris Singer Hotel, the other the Blue Heron, but due to the crash in the land boom in the 1920s, those plans were put to a halt. I tell you what, if you like being by the water, and want to grab some lunch or some dinner, or a couple beers, this might be a spot for you. No beer for me, I'm driving. But if I had a designated driver, I would definitely be partaking. <laughs> and they even got a post office. And a Subway. Are you a Subway fan? Eh, I'm half and half on Subway. What are your thoughts? New York bagels over here once again. And a place called Das or D-A-S. Craft beer and pizza. Johnny Longboats, New York pizza and more. Oh. Over here the town of Palm Beach Shores. Palm Beach Shores Resort and Vacation Villas. Ah, oh, there you go. In that uh, South Florida pink. <laughs> I think only in Florida probably just South Florida, you can get away with funky colors like that. The Islander Grill and Tiki Bar at the Palm Beach Shores Resort. Whew. Can't mosey on too far because the sign specifically says 
parking for mall and beach goers. So yeah, I'm gonna turn around and head back. So basically, where the mall is, is Riviera Beach, and right past the mall is Palm Beach Shores. Tropical vegetation over here. So here it is, right there, is the city of Riviera Beach. Right here, the town of Palm Beach Shores. So if you live in Palm Beach Shores and you want to come to the mall, you gotta come over here to Riviera Beach. So here it is. <laughs> well, I'm back at the mall now, but uh, I don't want to be violated or getting told either. Man, I wonder how much you gotta pay to get your car back. I've seen park. Was it Parking Wars? That show Parking Wars. Ever watched that show? What's cool is that these stores and shops have two entrances, front and back. So now we're behind the back end of the mall, if you will. And the beach is just on the other side of those palm trees right there. The beach is pretty busy today. So they got this sandy area here. I don't know what they use it for. Maybe for a volleyball or something, but there's a little courtyard of sand right here. Riviera Beach, also referred to as the Conk Republic, due to the large number of Bohemians and Bohemian Americans. Another fact, the city of Riviera Beach is a predominantly African American community and is on the list of U.S. cities with an African American majority population. And Riviera Beach is considered one of Palm Beach County's top five beaches. This structure here is actually a war memorial. Um, there's a plaque that displays that information right there in the lower right corner. Well, I gotta tell you, Florida keeps its neighborhoods clean. For the most part, man, the downtown areas are kept up very nice, very clean, very tidy. Good job, Florida. Look at that beautiful sand and that beautiful sunshine. And there's a shot of the mall in the background and some more trees and those big giant clouds. Yep. That's the one thing about Florida. You get a ton of sunshine, but you also get a ton of rain. That's how they grow all them oranges. One more shot of the beach before we wrap things up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, do believe I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I try not to make the videos too long. I know people on YouTube, they want to make big long videos to get view time, but I don't want to be boring nobody, so I keep it short and sweet. Uh, hey, thank you everybody for hitting that play button, and if you prefer, you may also give it a good old thumbs up, and you may also subscribe. My name is Manny for Manny More Than One, and I will see you next time.